Hi, Monica Burns here with Moroli Design Services. This is a tutorial on how to get a free account at LastPass and how to share your login and password with someone so that they are able to log into any specific account that you provide them access to, but they're not able to see your password. This is uh, really nice for giving someone a login, whether it's a temporary type of um, work that you're having done or if it's a personal assistant that accesses needs to access your account but you don't want to share passwords and if you were to break with that particular personal assistant or the temporary individual were doing work for you you can go in and change your password anytime so that you're not your security you're being very secure with your accounts with at the same time allowing someone to access your accounts and do the work that they need to do with your accounts. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll do get a free last pass and this particular instructions here can be a little bit confusing. It tells you um, to click the browser button above. Well above means this little thing but it's not what you want. You want to go over here to where it's grayed out and it says last pass. So you click on that and it's going to tell you um, to create an account down here. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to create one for my um, author name. So author Monica Burns at gmail.com and create the account. So it's going to tell me to create um, a good master password. Just for the sake of this, I'm going to demo, oh, demo to seven. Oh, and then confirm it. And then I'm just going to put in here demonstration and then tell it to unlock my vault. So we want to go back and get into LastPass and open the vault. Okay, once you've created your free account, you'll come to this screen and it's going to tell you add an item. You can also add folders. So, um, but for your particular use unless you have a lot of passwords that you're going to share with different people it's just easier to add an item and so we're going to add a password okay I'm going to use an uh, example account for myfitnesspal.com and always put in the HTTP and myfitness um, and you'll see that it will come up with a URLs that you tend to use quite a bit. So don't be, you, you might make it easier for you to find something if you're looking for um, a particular website. And so then put your name in. I'm going to use Monica. I'm not going to put it in a folder. And then my username for this particular account, for the My Fitness Pal account, is Monica Burns author and then the password is in my you type in your password it's going to be hidden here and you save it and so you can always test it by clicking the launch button this should take you straight there if you click login I've got one here and tell it to fill and then tell it to log in and voila there we go as you can see I'm actually in the account now I'm going to go ahead and log out so now I want to share this with someone 
so that they can access that uh, particular account. So we have to go to the little icon with people here where it says share. Click share. And then you just type in the recipient's email address. And the address that you would use would be Maroli Design Services at gmail.com. And you have the choice to let the recipient view the password. If you want, you can share passwords with your family. And you would be able to check this and it would let the person view the actual password. But for the sake of this particular um, video, we're showing you how to share passwords without the individual being able to see them. So you're going to send the password to my business account and then you tell it to share and it says we have to verify your email for the first time so click on send a verification email as you can see I have two last pass messages the first one is you know you're welcome um, gives you some information you can actually sync the passwords on your phone but that requires cost you money so I don't recommend that unless you don't have any other kind of password type of software then you have the last pass the email verification and you need to verify your email and it says thanks so you can close that out and you can go back into the vault and now you can share with the individual which would be me and that's Maroli M-A-R-O-L-I design D-E-S-I-G-N services S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S at gmail.com you don't want to share you don't want me to be able to see the password and then you click share and it will send me an actual password and at that point, I'll be able to access this particular account. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to log out of here. And I'm going to log in to my LastPass business account. And log in. And I will receive a little message here in my sharing center and I can see that I've got the email that I've sent from the other LastPass account and I tell it to accept and I tell it to save and just to make sure it works properly because sometimes LastPass can be a little bit quirky I'm going to click launch and then I'll click log on and I will select and just straight log on and there I am so we have the um, easy way to share any type of account that you want whether it's Amazon Central whether it's your Facebook whether it's your Twitter account whichever you have an uh, account you want to share with someone, you can do so. So I hope that's helpful, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.